Hey, welcome to part 2 of the strawberry cow tutorial. In this video, we'll do the snout, the ears, horns, spots, the tail and the assembly of the cow. We are going to start on the snout using our secondary color. First, make a slip knot and chain 6. Make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook, and I like to mark this stitch. Then make three single crochet back along the chain. Now in the last chain stitch, we make three single crochet into the same stitch. Now we'll be working along the underside of the chain. So we do three more single crochet. And then we do an increase, which is two single crochet into the same stitch. Now we finish the round by doing a slip stitch back into that first stitch of the round, which is also the stitch that we marked. Now I'm going to move the stitch marker to the end of round one. The first stitch of round two is going to go into the stitch after the slip stitch we just made. So over here, and we start with three single crochet. Then we do three increases, so that's two single crochet into each of the next three stitches. Now we do that again, so three single crochet. And then three increases. In round 3, we start with 3 single crochet. Then we do a single crochet and an increase. And we do that single crochet and increase 3 times. And we do that all again, so three single crochet, and then a single crochet and an increase, which we do three times. The total of round three comes to 24 stitches. Because I'm using super chunky yarn, the piece is already starting to curve a little bit, but yours might not be. Now in round 4, we aren't increasing anymore, we are just doing 24 single crochet around. round. 
Round four is the last round of the snout. If you would prefer the snout to be a little bit deeper, you can add another round of 24 here. After round four, we can remove the stitch marker and close with a slip stitch. And then we can cut the yarn, making sure to leave a bit of a tail for sewing. Remember, you can add another round if you want the snout to be deeper. Next, we'll do the ears in the secondary color. In round one, we do six single crochet in a magic ring. In round two, it's a single crochet and then an increase. And we do that three times to get nine stitches. In round three, we do two single crochet and then an increase. And we do that three times to get 12 stitches. In round four, it's three single crochet and then an increase. We do that three times to get 15. For the next three rounds, so that's rounds five to seven, we just do 15 single crochet around. And I'll do these three rounds off camera. In round eight, we start with three single crochet. Then a decrease. And as always, I like to do the invisible decrease. We do all of that three times to get 12 stitches. Now we can remove the stitch marker and fold the top flat and we're going to single crochet across both sides of the top. Now we can cut the yarn, making sure to leave a bit of a tail for sewing. And you'll be making two of these ears for the cow. Now we are going to do the small patch that looks like a heart. To start, do a slip knot and chain two. Now we're going to do all the stitches into the first chain, which is this one here. So first we do two double crochet. And then two half double crochet. And then one double crochet. Mm -hmm. 
and then two half double crochet. And then two double crochet. Now we chain two, and we do a slip stitch back into that same chain stitch where we did all our other stitches. Now you can cut that yarn, making sure to leave a bit of a tail, and just shape out your heart. Now we're going to crochet the large spot using the secondary colour. In round one, it's eight single crochet in a magic ring. Pull the ring tight. And as always, I like to use a stitch marker at the end of each round. In round two, we do eight increases. So that's two single crochet into each stitch. In round three, we do a half double crochet. And then in the next stitch, we do three double crochet into the same stitch. Then a half double crochet. and then a slip stitch. And we do all of that four times. And there's the last slip stitch. And then we can cut the yarn making sure to leave a tail. So your spot should look like this with these four bumps. And you'll make two spots for the cow. Next we'll do the horns. And I like to do this in beige or cream. To start, do four single crochet in a magic ring. In round two, it's a single crochet and then an increase. And we do that twice to get six stitches. It can be quite fiddly with the small round, so just work slowly. In rounds three to four, we don't increase, we just do six single crochet around.
Remove the stitch marker and close with a slip stitch. Cut the yarn making sure you have a bit of a tail. And you'll be making two of these horns for the cow. Now we'll start the assembly. And I like to start with the arms, about one or two rounds down from the neck. So position your arm where you want at the side of the body. And I like to have mine facing forward slightly like so. Now grab a stitch from the body. Go up into a stitch of the arm. And down into the next stitch of the arm. And then grab the next stitch of the body. And repeat this all the way across the arm. Once you've gone across the arm, you can make a few stitches back and forth just to secure that tail. Then you can insert the yarn tail to the back of the body. Now you can sew on the second arm exactly the same way. Bring that yarn tail back to meet the first one. And then we can just tie these together. Cut the yarn tails and insert the knot into the body. Now we'll sew on the snout. And I like to do this just below the eyes. First use the tail from the slip knot and just insert that into the front and bring the tail through to the back. Then we'll sew around the snout using the long tail. First I like to insert the tail into that next stitch over there, just so that you don't see that step change. Then grab a stitch from the face, go up into a stitch of the snout, and down into the next stitch of the snout. And repeat this all the way around. And before you reach the end, we're going to stuff the snout. Now continue sewing the last few stitches. Once the muzzle is in place, you can insert that yarn tail back to meet the first one. Next we're going to do the horns, and I like to put them at the top of the head about one or two rounds down from the center. If you like, you can stuff the horns slightly. First use the tail from the magic ring to place the horns on the body. Then sew around the horn using the long tail. 
As always, grab a stitch from the head and go up into the horn. And then down into the next stitch of the horn and repeat around. Now I'm going to do the second horn exactly the same way and I'll do this one off camera. Next we'll do the ears, about one or two rounds down from the horns. First take the tail from the ear and pinch the end of the ear like so and just secure it in place with the tail. Now we'll secure that onto the head with a few stitches. Just do as many stitches as you need to secure that ear. And you'll do the second ear exactly the same way and I'll do this off camera. Next we'll sew on the spots and I like to sew one just on the front like so. Position the spot using the tail from the magic ring and then sew in place using the long tail. I'm going to finish off this spot off camera and then I'll be back. Now the second spot I like to place at the back of the body. So once again I'll do that off camera and then I'll be back. Now we'll sew on the little heart. Use one of the tails to position the heart on the body. and then sew it in place using the other tail. I had some camera issues when sewing on the nostrils, but I just like to make two stripes as per the picture below. Once the nostrils are on, the cow should look like this. And we're nearly done, we just need to do the tail.
to crochet the tail, insert the hook right at the back where you want the tail to go, and pull through a loop. Then chain 6. Now starting in the second chain from the hook, we do 5 single crochet back along the chain. Now we can cut the yarn and tie the two tails together, thread the tails into the needle and insert the yarn under the tail and then pull the yarn to pull the knot into the body. Now the completed cow should look like this. If you make the cow, I'd love to see it and which colors you chose. You can just tag me on Instagram. I'll put my account in the description box. Thanks so much for making this cow with me. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.